everyone, Ryan the Vintage Viking, and I have another mystery box unboxing for you. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packages left to open up. And so I have three of them here in front of me, and we'll try to get through three of them. We'll see how that goes, um, and we'll just see how far we get. So um, let's go for it. So let me get this one here and open her up. All right. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Look promising, sort of. We'll see. All right, so Luminatus Part Three, Leviathan, Robert Shea. I don't know anything about that. Looks kind of cool. Uh, it is a Dell Sci-Fi. Dang, this was for sale somewhere for eighty-three cents. I want to go to that bookstore. It's nice and crispy. Uh, apparently, this is book three in this series. So, Eye of the Pyramid is volume one, The Golden Apple, volume two, and Leviathan, volume three. Never heard of it. I will have to look that up. So, set that aside there. Sorry, that wasn't pretty loud. Uh, Wendy Morgan, Possession, When Evil Won't Let Go. And it's a pinnacle fiction. Looks like 90s, 2000s, uh, 2003. Uh, Possible Worlds of Science Fiction by Groff Conklin. So this is, I have uh, one of these. I don't know if there's multiple versions of this or if it's just different covers, I don't remember, but I have uh, at least another copy of this somewhere. So A.E. Von Vaught, uh, Ray Bradbury, Isaac Asimov, Margaret St. Clair, Marie Leinster, uh, Clifford Simak, and Paul Anderson. So it's a good little lineup. It is a little bit fragile feeling, and um, someone wrote some notes on the Ray Bradbury story there, at least. So it does have tape along the side there. Um, and it does feel a little brittle. Um, strange Case of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I probably have about, I don't know. 30 copies of that. So not this specific one, but copies of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde around. <clears throat> Nina Catherine, oh, Nina Gathering. Catherine or Gathering? One of the two. Uh, Valerie Neiman Colander and it's like a, is that like Frodo on the cover? It's like some robot Uncle Fester in the background there or something. I don't know anything about that one. Uh, Cap Kennedy. So I have a few of these around. I've sold a few of these. These are Dawes. And this is uh, UQ1113 uh, by Gregory Kern. I don't know a lot about those either. Uh, A.E. Von Vaught, The War Against the Roll. Man, that is a cool cover. I have an alternate cop, uh, cover for this one, but that one's, I kind of like that one better. Uh, the Twilight Web, W.E.D. Ross. A strange house and mysterious curse threatened Rose's sanity and her life. Easy Eye Large Type, it says, so it's probably a gothic as well renegade row the Emer the emerald chicks caper what half cherokee half irish oh what's half cherokee and half irish and all man jerry renegade 1976 by lb roper which um roper i think yeah wrote this one uh and this is one that i uh, put up for sale and nobody wanted it and um, and I'm kind of glad because I I really want to read this so I set it aside for me to read then um, uh, but I just recognize the name it's the same same name for that one so it's kind of cool um, Blood to Blood the Dracula story continues Elaine Bergstrom Dark Fantasy it says 
Asimov, David Starr, Space Ranger. This is his um, writings as um, uh, Paul French. I had a full hardcover complete set of all of them, of all the Paul French novels. And I sold that on Amazon a while ago. And I kind of wish I would have kept it now. Dark Sun, the Nomad by Simon Hawk. And uh, book, th uh, Tribe of One, book three. Don't really know anything about that one. Set that aside. Uh, Andrew Offit, Shadows Out of Hell. I have a few of Andrew Offit's books. Um, and they're very, like, kind of old school Conan type. Um, sometimes, you know, a uh, slave, like, looks like gore or, like, things like that. And um, usually they have pretty risque covers for our, like, stuff like this isn't getting printed now. Unless it's, like, in the naughty section at a 7-Eleven or something. I don't even know if they still do that. <laughs> Do they still do they still sell um, adult mags at 7-Eleven? Uh, the microscopic man fights for survival in a world of ants. Ada, Francis Ruffus Bellamy. He's like he's like a knight riding an ant. <clears throat> When Brokel awoke, he was less than half an inch tall. It's kind of cool. In the style of The Shrinking Man by Matheson. Westeria Cottage by Robert Coates. This looks pretty good, actually. It's a great cover. Being pretty intense looking. Um, the Apparition by George Bishop. A new experience in out-of-body terror. Uh, it just says it's a bantam. It Walks by Night, John Dixon Carr. I actually picked up a hardcover, um, completed works, or a uh, complete collection of all of John Dixon Carr's works the other day. Because I have a bunch of those um, individual ones lying around, and I had... Uh, gone to that that uh what do you call it i had gone to that uh warehouse sale in sacramento and one of and that was there so i just threw it in one of the bags and it was like six bucks for a bag so i filled up a bag and that was one of them uh mage the ascension judgment day it's number three some of these can have some value to them so i'll look it up i i doubt that an individual one usually the, the whole set does Laurel K. Hamilton, and it was put in here smashed, so that one got kind of ruined. Um, maybe if I put weight on it, it'll go back to normal, kind of, uh, but we'll see. I have a ton of Laurel K. Hamilton stuff that I just set in a pile. Laws of the Blood Deceptions, Susan Sizemore. Oddly enough, I have another part of this story. I don't know what number it is, but I have another Susan Sizemore um uh, Part of that collection somewhere floating around so if i find it i'll put them together uh, another copy of leprechauns it's like a movie tie-in or tv show tie-in or something um not one that i'm gonna keep astounding uh oh first time paperback 13 original stories by the greatest writers of astounding so uh john campbell memorial anthology uh edited by harrison and introduction by asimov so this is really really pretty neat and probably is packed full of some great stuff but this one has asimov anderson asimov alfred bester hal clement uh theodore cogswell elsbrug de camp gordon dixon harry harrison mac reynolds clifford simak george smith ted sturgeon and theodore cogswell wow Wow, that, um, this one I may hang on to just to, uh, to read because Asimov gives a little blurb about, um, K. 
Campbell there at the beginning as well. So probably hang on to that one. I really enjoy John. Um, really enjoy John Campbell. And um, the more I read of him, the more I enjoy. The more I read about him, the more I enjoy too. The Sinister Twilight by J.S. Forrester. Doesn't even say where it, but the, doesn't even say the publisher on there. So, to look, check that out. Robert Heinlein, Waldo and Magic Inc. Uh, two magical short novels by Science Fiction's Great. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Uh, five Card Stud, Dean Martin and Robert Mitchum. And it's the movie tie in. Of it. It's got photos on the back. Check that out. See if it's worth anything. Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan at uh, the Earth's Core. And I don't think I have that one. I'll have to look. I have been putting a bunch of Tarzans just in a pile and haven't like sorted them in and checked and checked to see whether I actually have them or not i've just been setting aside i haven't got to it yet wow this is funny okay so moon of the wolf i actually was just i've had it i've had another copy of this and it's missing it's like starts at page five but it doesn't look like any pages came out of there so i don't know if it just starts like that it just jumps right into it it, I don't see anywhere where a page could have been in there. So I've, I was trying to look this up, see if it had any value. I cannot find this cover anywhere. And the only covers I've seen are this coat, these ones right here. So, um, and this one unfortunately has destroyed back cover. It was stuck to something, got ripped off like most of these books I've been finding in here. Um, and, uh, this one, so now I can check and see how it starts. Daybreak in winter. And uh, let's see. And it says daybreak in winter. So it does just start like that. Wow. Okay. So this, I guess, is complete. Um, it's This is a first edition. And I could not find this anywhere, like, on eBay as a sold. These, uh, in good condition, are, like, upwards of 80 bucks on there listed. Um, I didn't, I don't remember what solds were, so could be a lot less um i know first edition hardcovers were up there too but so that's kind of cool i was i like literally was just looking all this up right before i grabbed these boxes and sat down to do this so i will set that aside it looked like kind of an interesting book too uh the avenger number 34 the glass man uh, i think i have a bunch of avenger ones over there that i was setting aside it's getting hard to organize in here with all these book boxes that I've been opening and they're just everywhere and I went to that warehouse sale and I just have books everywhere it's kind of crazy um fun but also kind of crazy so uh Brave New World Aldous Huxley 33rd printing and I have one that that this is the full cover so um but that is still on my list to read for the year i have not got to brave new world yet dark court isabel holland uh fawcett crest book best-selling author of among Creef. an audacious girl a powerful man and a secret too horrible to reveal interesting tm wright the last vampire it's a leisure horror and T.M. Wright is rare and blazing talent, Stephen King. Not one I'm familiar with. <clears throat> Moon Lake, Stephen Gresham. This has got to be zebra horror. Nice. From the murky depths through the lush purple flowers, a horrifying evil haunts Moon Lake. It looks like it was misprinted or something. It's like off the edge. I doubt that was like intentional. And uh, Christy's phone number is in here if you want to give Christy a call. Page 
edges are stuck together. It's probably an uh, 82. Oh, I was going to guess it's a little later. But that's in pretty good shape. I don't know anything about this. I'll have to check that out. Okay. The Ghost in the Mirror, Marcia Chambers Critchen. YA type novel. Willow Wisp Press. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. I have tons of Sherlock Holmes. Tons and tons and tons. Okay, what the heck? This. Oh my gosh. This is this is gorgeous. Wow. Okay. Enough suspense. I'm just soaking it in. Sorry. This is freaking cool. Linda Crockett Gray, Tangerine. They call her Tangerine. It is embossed everywhere. It is a zebra horror, uh, zebra, oh, tour horror. Sorry, not zebra. That's freaking cool. I don't know if this is a very rare one or what, but wow. 1988, first print. That is a fantastic cover. Wow. Man. I want to look that one up. I don't know anything about that one. I haven't seen that around. I don't, uh, there is one that I've seen about, um, like a piano playing massacre of some kind. I think, I think, I think, I think if I remember right, I saw that on clips, dark gems of one he just picked up, uh, on his last video. I may be mistaken. It was something else, but, um, I don't think it was tangerine. It was some, some other piano playing one, but that's freaking cool. James Hogan, The Giants Novels, Inherit the Stars, The Gentle Giants of Gandamere, and Giants Star. So this is the first three books in that groundbreaking saga, it says. I don't know really anything about James Hogan at all. So I that name looks, these names are familiar to me, the titles and the author's name, but I don't really know much about him. Oh, hey, I was looking for this the other day. Because I found the next one. It says Darwin's Radio. And I found... Uh, uh, I forget what the next one's called. So this is Greg Bear. And um, I didn't know he wrote episode Star Wars Episode 1, Rogue Planet. I knew he wrote um, some Halo stuff. But I didn't know he wrote that one. Um, so probably most well-known or at least in the circles that I watch uh, for blood music very well known for that um, influential picked up part of uh, what Asimov's foundation trilogy and added on to that with David Brin and um, was it, is it Benford I think um, so I was looking for Darwin's radio and you're gonna sit over here there we go uh, Alan Dean Foster more Alan Dean Foster I have a lot so spoils of war that's uh, part two three of the damned series that from Dean Foster. Oh, some Shatner, Tech Lords. All right, where's Moid? Media Death Cult. He loves his Shatner. Um, I have a ton of William Shatner. I was actually going to send Moid some that I noticed he was missing on his library tour because um, I have a couple Tech Lords, a Tech um, series hardcovers that he didn't have. And um, so I was thinking about sending them. I set them aside and then I Got sidetracked with other stuff. I don't really know where they are now. Um, but I do have them all kind of in a general area. The latest Clarissa Ross graphic novel, Glimpse into Terror. I got it. Easy Eye Large Type. Right there. Some more Dean Foster, The End of the Matter. Uh, this is a Pip and Flicks. Flinks, 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 Pippin flinks. Journey to the Center of the Earth, Jules Verne. I have a ton of these, but this is kind of a neat little updated cover. This is also on my TBR for the year. I have a nice uh, hard, 
hardback, um, hard, hard cover. Uh, I think it's a leatherette one, if I remember correctly. It's behind me somewhere. People versus Withers and Malone by Stuart Palmer, an inner sanctum mystery. Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. So um, I have the originals of where the Six Million Dollar Man came from. It's called Cyborg um, by Martin Caden. And I have four of those. I've sold, or no, I have three now because I've sold one on eBay. And I have some of them listed. Uh, they're in really good shape on there for, I don't know, 60 bucks or something. The other one I sold was like 30, I think. So if you come across Cyborg, um, one cover that it's just like a, a guy in a gray suit and it's just standing there like and it looks like the most boring cover and then another one he's like running like and his like clothes are all torn off and stuff and um so those ones are um in good condition can be uh worth some money so good to look out for signals the exploration chronicles book one kevin d randall i don't know anything about that but it's the 50th anniversary so not one that I've heard of, though. ABC Warriors. Huh. The Medusa War. 2000 AD. Atomic, bacterial, and chemical. That's not throwing any nostalgia vibes there. I don't know what that's from. So. Oh, boy. It's the beef. Here's Beaver. Beaver's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Beverly Cleary. Here's Beaver. Set that one aside. Definite. Let's read that next. Return of Sherlock Holmes. Sorry, that's just not, not in my wheelhouse. Uh, this is split. Yep. Perfect. Makes it easy to read that way. So do this to all your books. If you want a, a pro tip on how to read them better, you actually, like like a smash burger, you just lay them down flat and then crunch them really hard and they'll, they'll snap in the middle and you can just, they're so much easier to hold when you're reading at night. So um, don't do that. That was a joke. All right, uh, I've seen this before. This, this is a trippy cover. Northwest Smith C.L. Moore. I, I think I have it somewhere. Um, this one is unfortunately nice and water stained on the back, as with a lot of these books that I've been getting. They're either water damaged or they're stuck together and they're just a wreck. Uh, Warhammer 40k Shadow Point. Some of these can be really valuable, super valuable. Um, and some are just like five, five, ten dollar ones. So those are worth checking out and keeping an out for. If you see them, I wouldn't say guarantee pick up no matter what kind of thing. But if you're finding them for a buck, you're not going to lose money. They're going to have, they're going to sell for probably at least five bucks. So uh, if you if you don't mind that kind of sale and you just want to grab one, like you're at a yard sale or something, and you you know uh, they got a stack of war hammers and they want ten bucks for it or something, I'd do it. And look them up later. Uh, if you can't look them up then. Justice League of America. Exterminators. So I have a bunch of DC and Marvel stuff. As well as um, some old. Um, I guess it would still be Marvel. But some other old Marvel stuff. That's floating around here somewhere. Let's set that with that. Uh, 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 all right. Stargate, Stephen Robinette. The gate could open the way to distant galaxies or destroy, destroy the whole universe. Captain Eddie V. Rickenbacker, Fighting the Flying Circus. Interesting. Outside. Snare Andalusian, a mystery by Aaron Mark Stein. And there's a guy like holding a pistol out backwards above him. And that guy's very terrified he's going to get pistol whipped or something. Just grab it, bro. Just grab it. A gorgeous chick leads to a nest of intrigue as Matt Erridge 
becomes fair game in an international spy shoot. Uh, this one's all, unfortunately, all rat chewed at the bottom. Fred Saberhagen Dancing Bears. It's a tour fantasy. I've never read uh, Saberhagen. I don't hear Saberhagen talked about too much. I have a lot of Saberhagen floating around, but... Um, Dark Man, The Gods of Hell. This is a pocketbook horror, it says. I have not come across any Dark Man books like this, but this is in really good shape. So if it is kind of a collectible thing, um, it is still nice. So surprisingly, uh, first pocketbook, 1994, and it is a horror, it says. So um, I have to check that out. It says it's number three. Uh, Beasts by John Crowley. Half human outlaws of a savage future. It's kind of a cool looking cover. Uh, Larry Niven and Gift from Earth. I do like these, this Del Rey style covers of the Niven ones. Goblin Market, Richard Bowes. Martin Caden, uh, Manfac. Manfac. That looks kind of cool. Uh, creator of Six Million Dollar Man. Goes beyond bionics and puts a shredded stud muffin on there. Super beefcake. That's a steak cake right there. It's more than a beefcake. Uh, and it has tape on it, but... Eighty-one, eighty-eight. First Bane printing. It does have like this staining on the side, so I don't know if that has any value. I don't remember seeing any other Martin Cadens having any like popping up as like desired books. I was looking Lady of the Lake and other stories. Sir Walter Scott and Hound of Baskerville. Uh, both of the uh, both these I have tons of. Would anybody be interested in like a classics whatnot? Is there anybody out there that would want some of those? Because I have just boxes and boxes of like that, of like Sherlock Holmes and Conan Doyle and Jules Verne and all those other ones. So um, I have a lot. Uh, if you are, let me know. You don't have to throw it in the comments. If you want, you can just shoot me a message, whatever and whatnot. Uh, Last Legion series. Chris Bunch, sorry forgot the author uh nice vertical limit this is one i don't have a novelization by mel odom mel odom did uh, quite a few different ones as well uh, alan dean foster has done the most that i know of uh, but i see mel odom on a lot of these also so uh that is in pretty good shape it doesn't feel uh, there's no crease here and it doesn't feel like it's split where the photos are so i'm gonna go ahead and keep them kind of tight and um i loved this movie when it came out uh, Bill Paxton, who passed away not not too, too long ago. A um, lot of people in it that you may have forgotten about. Who's that guy? When was the last time we saw him? Isn't that uh, Chris O'Donnell? Is that his name right? Yeah, Chris O'Donnell. And then you got, um, I can't remember his name, but the guy from Longmire, which I, a show that I love. And then <laughs> I always get him and Lance Hendrickson confused. Uh, let's see, Scott Glenn on the back. Yeah. Oh, from Silverado. Come on. Classic movie as well. So uh, I loved this movie when it came out. When it first came out, that opening sequence, I was like just in awe. And uh, I mean, it was it was pretty intense. And Robin Tooney's in it. So Mentalist and others. Probably, probably more known, not for Mentalist, but for... Uh, Oh, doggone it. Why am I drawing a blank? Why are they all witches? Uh, total blank. Anyways, you know which one I'm talking about. All right, Infinity 4, Robert Hoskins. That's cool. And we have uh, Fritz Leiber, Robert Silverberg, William Nolan, Dean Koontz. Nice, dropping in there. 
um, Fred Sliber, Thomas Scorsia, Ron Gillard, Malsberg, uh, George Zabrowski, John Jakes, Paul Anderson, and more Fritz Leiber. So, kind of a cool collection. I don't have that one. I have a, quite a few anthologies or compilations or collections. Tom Dietz, Dietz, Dietz. Uh, Ghost Country's Wrath fantasy book. I'm running out of space here. Um, Fire Shaper's Doom by Tom Dietz. If anybody's into fantasy, let me know. And if you're looking for some, I have boxes and boxes and boxes of fantasy too. John Saul, Cry for the Strangers. I'm trying to look up there. Uh, there's a fat glare on my books over there. I can't see. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, I do have it. I see it at the bottom. There's a vintage copy of this one up there that I have. All right. The Hercules text oh, it looks like paint on the cover edited by terry carr someone used this for their their paintbrush and rollers when they're redoing their house another pro tip this makes a good brush you just dip it in paint like this and it, and it's like see how it just moves nicely along the surface just kidding don't do that with your books either Ah, la, 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 la. When I'm done being a dork, I'll move on. Okay, I thought it was an, I thought it was a collection because it says edited by Terry Carr. So I thought there was uh, more in here, but it just says Jack. It's Jack McDevitt. But I guess it's not a collection. I don't know why it's edited then. Uh, Wizard and Glass, Stephen King. I have a bunch of these in the trade size and this size. I. I think this is one of the few Dark Tower ones that I don't have a hardcover for. Um, so I have tons and tons and tons of Stephen King books uh, that are for sale and will be... Ooh, I don't have this version. That is um, pretty clean, too. I don't have this version here. Um, I don't think this is a movie. This is pre-movie, I think. Or not, it doesn't have the movie stuff slathered all over uh, the pages. Uh, it is a 43rd print, 1981. Okay, wow. I don't remember when the movie came out, but it doesn't have all the movie stuff all over it. So that's kind of cool. The, the one I have is all, it's this one right here, actually. These are all my horror, uh, that's my horror movie section right there. So this is the one I have. And I have a couple copies of this one. But uh, let's see when this one came out. Uh, so this is earlier. Okay, 74. It's the 36th printing. But I like this one better. But I usually try to keep the older one. So this is 81 43rd printing. So maybe I'll hang on to both. I don't know. Set that aside for now. Back to it later. David Drake, The Military Dimension. I have tons of David Drake, as well as like John Ringo, and all those uh, seem to be, to me, mostly well known, mostly known for their military stuff. Battlestar Galactica, this is a TV show tie in one. Or maybe Moot. Yeah, TV show tie in. Yeah. This is the, the original. I'm pretty sure they did a movie, too, at some point. Taming the Forest King, Claudia Edwards. A Woman Against a treacher Treacherous World of Wonders. Fantasies by George MacDonald. With an introduction by C.S. Lewis. Hmm. I haven't seen that one before, either. That's cool. Uh, reprinted in 1992, originally first published in 1858. Wow. 
So that's a that's a classic. Ooh, I have not seen this one. Robert Silverberg presents Earthmen and Strangers. Look at that cover. That's great. Uh, let's see who's in this one. Silverberg, uh, Silverberg, more. So no, I'm just kidding. So Silverberg, Silverberg, uh, Eric Frank Russell, Paul Anderson, Isaac Asimov, Damon Knight, Algis Budris, Harlan Ellison, and Arthur C. Clarke. That's a good lineup too. Jeez. Okay. Wow, I'm almost to the bottom of the book box here. Uh, Thunder Agent, <laughs> Menthor. <laughs> Wow, that's so funny. It's Menthor, Captain Newport, Captain Cool. He smokes his menthols, fights crime with Menthor. Uh, the Thunder Agent with the Super Helmet. I've never heard of Men Menthor. It sounds like the goofiest name. I'm sorry. Menthor. And on the back... Ha, ah, your mental powers are no match for the great hypno menthor. Repeat after me. I am now a pygmy. I am now a pygmy. Wow. Okay, so it's like this, too. It's up and down. So you'd, you'd read it sideways like that. That's a trip. I've not seen that before. Uh, and... We're missing the front couple pages that would tell me the date and all that fun stuff, but it looks like that's the starting point. So, looks like we're missing some important parts, but who wouldn't want to read Menthor? You guys are going to roast me and be like, Menthor's freaking awesome. All right, uh, Live Without a Net. Uh, stories by Stephen Baxter, David Brin, uh, Mike Resnick. Sterling, Swanwick, and more. Um, cool little anthology there. Uh, in the blink of an eye, Wendy Corsi Straub. Um, I have this one already. I have a copy of it, and it's in pretty good condition as well. Um, and uh, it looked kind of interesting from the premise before. Um, H. Ryder Haggard, she... And I have a few of these as well. Not this version. I don't have this version here. Demon Tech, book three, Golf Run, David Sherman. Co-author of the Star Fist series. Military fantasy. I actually have that book somewhere around too. Uh, Torque, Storm Nights, book one of the Possibility Wars. And this is that really super thick heavy duty paper where it's just really weighty. I have like three more of these. I have no idea where they're from, what they're about, or if they're any, you know, a desired book in any way whatsoever. But I have three other ones uh, somewhere in this mess over here. Um, so I will need to look that up and see at some point when I slow down on buying and actually do some listing with them. Invasion Earth, Harry Harrison. Uh, that's cool. Harry Harrison wrote uh, like Death World and Stainless Steel Rat series, uh, a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, and Wheel World and things like that. And this one is Invasion Earth. And I read Death World and I really enjoyed his writing. And so I'm, I'm probably gonna hang on to that and read some more from him. The Hunting Variety. Richard Flanagan. It is a popular library fiction. And the tradition of ex Exorcist and the uh, and the other, not for the squeamish. Kind of interesting. Jupiter Project, Gregory Benford. I actually just picked up a bunch of hardcover Benfords the other day. And um, at that warehouse sale I was talking about before. And I have a few floating around paperback. But that looks pretty cool. If the stinking 200 of, oh, <laughs> that's not a two. If the stinking zoo of Earth had a future, it was here. The stinking zoo of Earth had a future. It was going to be here on Jupiter. One of Jupiter's moons, I'm guessing. Um, kind of cool. 
What did I watch the other day where they landed on? Oh, Europa Report. It's one of one of uh, my. I rewatched it the other day. It's one of my kind of in my top sci-fi movies uh, list. Patricia Moyes, Johnny Underground, and I'm pretty sure they went to what to Europa, which is a moon on Jupiter, if I remember correctly. Assignment: Black Viking. Edward Aaron's. Oops, my bad. Jack Chalker, The Run to Chaos Keep, The Demons Live. This is book two of the Quintara Marathon. I have one other one. Uh, I think it's book three because in in the cover of the other one, there's this crystal like tube type thing and the demon is in the crystal tube. So it's either book one and then they let him out or book three and then they capture him. So that's my guess. Conan, the Warlord, Leonard Carpenter. I have a lot of Jack Chalker, uh, like, sets uh, put together, actually. Um, Conan, the Warlord, uh, Leonard Carpenter. I don't have this one. There are a ton of different Conan authors. Uh, Indian Jones, The Last Crusade. Uh, I do have this one. It's a movie novelization by Rob uh, McGregor. So, and looks like it has film photos. Yeah. So, with the new one coming out. Ooh, nice. Downward to Earth, Silverberg. Um, I think I have this one. I mean, I know I have that one, but I think I have that. I know I have that book. I think I have that cover. Ooh. Wow. Double whammy. Okay. I might need to hold on to my other ones. Because these, I think, are, when you have the full set, can be uh, highly collectible. Swords uh, in the Mist and Swords Against Wizardry, Fritz Leiber. This is number four of the Grey Mauser, and this is number three of the Grey Mauser. And I have at least two other ones floating around somewhere. Um, I've only found one at a time, so I've kind of just let them be. All right, um, more Warhammer, Warriors of Ultramar. So another one to check out and see. And uh, another Warhammer, uh, Daemon World or Demon World. Those are actually all in good, really good shape. Path of the Eclipse, Chelsea Quinn Yarbrough. It's a signet, it says. And I've got quite a, quite a bit of Yarbrough now, too. Haven't read any yet. I have that uh, one False Dawn that I kind of wanted to read. Um... Point Counterpoint by Aldous Huxley. Actually, I haven't heard of that one before. That's a, that's a new Huxley for me. So Brave New World, The Island, um, probably most notable Huxley ones. True History of the Elephant Man by Michael Howell. Now a major motion picture. Penguin. Uh, Marion Zimmer Bradley, The Inheritor. Quite a bit of Marion Zimmer Bradley as well. Year's Best SF, number seven. Uh, let's see who's in this one. Uh, Nancy Cress. Michael Swanwick, Brian Aldiss. And Swanwick again, Ursula Le Guin, Stephen Baxter, Thomas Dish. Woohoo! Gene Wolfe, Gregory Benford, Alistair Reynolds. Um, nice. Uh, I probably have that. Maybe I don't have that Dish one because I, I have a short story collection from Dish, but I'll have to look. If I don't, I'll probably hang on to that just for the Dish story at least. Uh, Robert Silverberg at World's, or excuse me, at Winter's End. Uh, Anatomy of Terror, or Tale of Terror for the 21st Century, Frankenstein. This will probably go to the section for um, my wife's fifth graders. William Dietz, Earthrise. Ooh, this is cool. Agatha Christie, Death on the Nile. And it's a Fontana. Oh, I was hoping that was, you know, signed by Christie herself, you know. 
Nineteenth uh, Prince, uh, seventy-seven. Originally in nineteen thirty-seven. That's pretty cool, though. One last little stack in here. Ooh, nice. Best of Frederick Pohl. That's a good one. It's a really good one. Um, with the introduction by Lester Del Rey. I, I, I think I might have sold this one of mine a while back, so I don't know if I have that one. Or maybe I sold it because I have the hardcover version, but that is a good book either way. So Shadow Dancers, Herbert Lieberman, uh, St. Martin's Fiction, and then Tom Dietz again here with Sun Shaker's War. So that's all from this box, and that those are one with fiction, one with fantasy. That's all from that box.